Hey Sherry, what you doing? Hey Serena, I was just about to head to the youth center to do a really cool experiment. It uses stuff that people have at home already, and it's kind of about emotional regulation, but it's also kind of about explosions. Do you want to come with? Of course, that sounds so much fun. Awesome, let's go. So, so this experiment, Serena, is about how we can manage our emotions or help mm -hmm. even though sometimes things happen to us that we don't like. Yes. Right? So I want you to imagine that someone is having a, a kind of a bad day, mm -hmm. right? There's not like nothing terrible has happened. There's no been not a tragedy or anything like that, mm -hmm. but they're just maybe not feeling like they're having the best luck today. Yeah. So there's like lots of little things that are maybe going mm -hmm. wrong, right? So um, like maybe they, you know, they got up for breakfast and their brother drank the last of the milk and there's no milk for their cereal, mm -hmm. right? So for each thing that goes wrong, we're gonna put some baking soda out of this dish okay. into the other glass. Okay? Gotcha. And you can decide if you feel like it might be a big thing or a little thing. Okay. Right? And then measure the baking soda accordingly. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So something that I don't like that happens is when my alarm doesn't go off or I don't get out of bed as early as I should. That makes my whole day late. Mm. So I think that's a medium sized mm -hmm. problem. Um, something else that is not so fun is when you go to Tim Hortons or Starbucks and they don't have the drink you want. Mm -hmm. Or they give it too hot and you wanted it iced. Right. Not a big problem, but it's just not fun. Especially if you've been looking forward to it. Yeah, if you wanted a treat. Yeah. Um, something else. Sometimes it might be something that happens, like something somebody else does something that we find mm. kind of annoying or irritating. That's true, yeah. Somebody else taking out their frustration on you, that doesn't feel very good at all. So I think that's a bigger scoop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not very fun. Or forgetting to do laundry. That's not fun. That yeah. throws off everything. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we'll do one more of those. Like, um, you know, maybe something that maybe it snowed and now you're you left your snow brush at home yeah right and so now you have to figure out how you're going to clean off your car true there yeah. okay and so now we're going to think of one more thing it doesn't have to be a big thing mm. one more thing that might go wrong for someone and then we're going to put this in instead and what we've got here is this is a <gasps> vinegar with a little bit of red paint just for fun okay do i do a scoop or do i pour it you can pour it okay i'll pour a little bit uh, something that I don't like that happens is when I plan to make a supper in my head and then I get home and I don't have one of the major ingredients for it. And it's like, man, I was really looking forward to that all day long. Yeah. But you still have other food. But it's I wanted but that. But you wanted that. Yeah. yeah. It's disappointing. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that! Oh, wow! When you might, and somebody might feel like when I had that... I didn't have what I wanted for supper, and so that's what made me explode. Mm -hmm. right? It might not have been a big thing, but on top of everything else. Mm -hmm. And it, it really... wasn't just the supper. It was all those other things that happened during the day. Yep, definitely. Right? Yeah, and sometimes when we have those big feelings that have a bit of an explosion, it, do it doesn't feel very good. No, not right? at all. It doesn't feel very good for us. It maybe doesn't feel very good for people around us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get into trouble. Yeah. Right? Um, and so... We're going to talk about ways that we can help bring the explosion down a little bit mm -hmm. so it doesn't affect us quite as badly. That sounds really good. Cool. Let's go do that. Yes. So we've done this experience once where Serena has put in waking powder for each negative experience one might have during the day. We're going to do it again now, but I'm going to change it up a little bit for her. We're going to still put in some of those negative experiences, but we're also going to add in an element that reflects some of the coping skills that she might be able to use, or that somebody might be able to use to help manage those big feelings and maybe not have an explosion or have that explosion be a little bit smaller. Hey, Serena, so we're going to do this again, but this time we're going to add in something new. Okay. okay. So we're going to start again in the same place. So start thinking about somebody who maybe is having not the best day. Mm -hmm. What might be something that is happening for them today? Yeah. I don't like it when I don't get a good night's sleep and I wake up kind of grumpy. Mm. So that kind of throws off my whole day. Mm -hmm. So if somebody woke up grumpy, right, is there anything that they could do that would help them manage that for this day? 
Yeah, definitely. I think some preemptive things that you could do is making sure you're getting a good night's sleep. Um, maybe that means not being on your phone before bed, making sure you're in a dark room, um, or even implementing a sleep routine. Those are all very beneficial things to get a good night's rest. Okay. So I'm going to give you a cotton ball okay. to put in as your coping skill. Oh. Right? Because that will also affect how your day goes. Nice. Okay. So what's something else that might happen that might not be the mm -hmm. ideal thing for someone? Again, I, I don't like it or I don't think anyone likes it when other people take out their frustration on you, whether that be that they're not having a good day or that they're frustrated with something that's happening and then they take that out on you. That's mm -hmm. not very fun. No, and it can be really easy to get mad back at them or mm -hmm. feel up upset or disappointed or mm -hmm. hurt if that happens. Mm -hmm. What's something that you could do if that did happen that might help manage your mood a bit? Mm -hmm. I think walking away from the situation and getting some space and some air in that moment is really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tap yeah. at it now. Walking away. Yeah. Excellent. So what might be something else that somebody that might go wrong for mm -hmm. someone? Uh, just having an overall bad day, like how we're talking about. Maybe it's a lot of little things happening, but coming home at the end of the day and being really tired and having a rough day, that's not very fun. So I'm going to add that. Hey, is there anything that you can think of that would help in that situation? Mm -hmm. I think uh, physical exercise would help, whether that be going for a walk or a run with a family member or a friend, being outside and getting fresh air and doing physical activity is really mm -hmm. beneficial. It really is. Mm -hmm. And so now we're gonna do one more thing that maybe is not, wasn't ideal, and I'm gonna yeah. give you the vinegar this time. Okay, so I hate when I have a plan for supper and I go to the grocery store, or maybe I wanna get myself a nice snack at the grocery store, um, and then I go to that aisle and they don't have it, whether that be they don't carry the item anymore, or it's sold out, it just really gets on my nerves and it's like, oh, I was looking forward to this all day long, so. So you can see that when you add the, the last stressor of the day, you still had a bit of a puzzle there, mm -hmm. right? But that the, it didn't go as high and it didn't last as long. Yeah, that's true. Right? It's already gone. It's, it's mm -hmm. not bubbling up anymore and it didn't go up as high on the glass. Right, and that's what coping skills can help us do. Right? They can't take away all those things that might happen during our day, mm -hmm. right? We might still get stuck in a traffic jam or it might still snow unexpectedly or maybe someone says something and it hurts our feelings. Mm -hmm. Those things are still going to happen, right? But if we can use coping skills throughout the day to help manage our feelings, then it doesn't get to quite the state where it feels so out of control. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for showing me this, Sherry. You're I'm welcome. definitely going to take these skills with me. Awesome. Yeah.